Hold my drink while I fix the bouncy house. Oh, <laughs> the humanity. Eat steak and drink whiskey. Why? Tell me that it's human nature. The bouncy house is down. This is terrible. This is the worst of the worst catastrophes in the world. Oh, the humanity. Oh. No, welcome to Off-Grid and Whiskey, you awesome squatchers. Somebody commented, you know, first the whiskey wagon puked out on me. A couple days later, 8 ball, eight ball. <laughs> the 87 IROC Camaro uh, blew a hose. <laughs> Not the good kind like you wanted it to be. And then the Yamaha, the Squatch Rocket, the TW200, it puked out the reveal. Oh, what? So the comment was, oh, don't worry, brah. Everything happens in threes. You're fine now. Well, guess what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Two in the morning. I'm watching Snake Plissken escape from LA for the millionth time. Out of nowhere. It wasn't forecasted. This 35 degrees out. Heavy five inches <laughs> of snow. I got to work on my pausitis. Just slams down within an hour. And I'm sitting there in the pile driver bed, watching Snake Plissken, and next thing you know, here comes that beam, just snakes collapses. When you go to bed with the big boys, you're gonna feel some pain in the morning. Oh, you gotta be raw dogging me. If you're new here at Off Grid and Whiskey, this is an HDT uh, air beam shelter. Four beams, 30 feet by uh, 30 by 20. Now, it's been a wreck for about three and a half years. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah, that's a heck of a blue pill. Yeah, that's what I need right now. A blue pill to throw at it and see if I can fix it. I know what you awesome squatchers are saying. Hey, brah, you roll the dice by buying older vehicles and equipment. You're going to pay the price. <laughs> oh, what a great song by Ballad by Twisted Effin' Sister. Let's go deep into uh, Lowenbrow Studios and uh, check out the interior damage. It's the price we gotta pay. And all the kids. Boy, it's all kinked up. It's hard to open the flap to your house. Okay, watch your head. You used to not have to bend over. Oh, the last bend over. Oh, man. Oh, I just. I salvaged some vodka off the floor over here. It just collapsed all on my, uh, my shelving unit. So, there is some good news. Paps Blue Ribbon! I've got Paps Blue Ribbon on my mind! Look at that massive kink <laughs> in the air beam. It should be nice and straight like that. It's so long it has a bend, if only. Now the garbage can's about half full of water. Oh man. My beautiful OSB plywood is soaked. Look at that. Islands in the stream right there. Oh, there's some nice shotgun shells there. I forgot about them. Okay, I've got a plan. If I can't get this fixed, well, it is great motivation to build the Taj Masquatch cabin, but that's not gonna happen <laughs> overnight. It's just me, you, and Billie Jean King here. There's nobody else. So, now here's what I'm thinking. I like big butts and I cannot lie. You other brothers can't deny. I'm gonna let the air out. They're all connected right now, all four beams. I'm thinking less air in number one that's broke and I could push it back in place. That's the goal here. All right, so I just pulled out my hose. And what I'm thinking is, let the... Okay, I need a freaking two by four about six feet long. Let's try this, a little three by one. <laughs> I'm still over like a monkey fornicating a football. I don't like that. Could be my last bend over any time. Whoa. Hang on. <laughs> Let's do the 
Right there, right, yeah, what's that? Ooh, that's creepy. There's, there's Ronald Reagan. There's Lincoln. There's Ron Jeremy. Oh God, no. Wow, look at that water flowing like the salmon of Capistrano. There's just such a big depression up there when the snow melted. There's the Blaze King 40 that I let the fire go out. And uh, thinking maybe if it started collapsing, it's going to go up in flames. There's Michael. He was keeping an eye on the joint. Okay, so there's the pile driver bed. I was sitting there in the catbird seat watching Snake Plissken when the shite hit the fan. I won't reenact that for you. <laughs> Because this is drastic measures, I may have to do some delicate surgery and just take my knife and cut that, this liner out. So I could see that air beam. It's right here in this vasectomy. Just do it. All I need is a slit. Oh, screw it. This is, this is an emergency. I don't want to, let's not cut that seam. There it is. The unveil. As much as I like surgery, I'm not a fan of cutting all this fabric out of here, but it's got to happen. Look at the air beam. Okay, it should be right up in here going over the top, Stallone. And there it is, just snaked. And it comes around. We're doing a round robin reach around. There's a normal one right there. That's beam number two. <laughs> so this one is really effed up. All right, the night is at its darkest. I, I don't think this is gonna snap back in place at all. No. It's so, I think it's stretched also. Stretch Armstrong, just like that. It's, it, looks, it looks almost double the size as what it should be. See all these strap-ons right there? They're all loose. I don't know what to do. I can't see how this is going to just snap back into a nice St. Louis arc. There's an elevator going all the way to the top, by the way. Clatsu! Marada! <laughs>